The king of Cambodia, Norodom Sihamoni's visit to India not only marked the India-Cambodia diplomatic relationship of 70 years, but was also indicative of the fruits of painstaking diplomacy India had engaged with Cambodia. Despite historic and contemporary connections between the two countries, the bilateral relationship had remained underutilized, especially in the economic, trade and security spheres. However, the increasing attractiveness of India's economy had made it possible for the two countries to deepen their engagement. In their meeting, Prime Minister Modi and King Nordom underscored the deep civilizational ties, strong cultural and people-to-people connections between both countries. The Prime Minister assured the Cambodian King of India's resolve to strengthen the bilateral partnership with Cambodia across diverse areas including capacity building. His Majesty thanked the Prime Minister for India's ongoing initiatives in development cooperation and conveyed his appreciation and best wishes for India's presidency of the G20. In ancient times, Indian civilizational influence was profound in the Cambodian culture, religion and architectural landscape. In modern times, India was the first country to recognize Cambodia after the fall of the Khmer Rouge in 1979 and the diplomatic recognition led India to assist under-sanctioned Cambodia economically. In addition, India signed the 1991 Paris Peace Agreement that contributed to the peace process in Cambodia. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has emphasized India's Act East policy and as a result, diplomacy prioritized the Southeast Asian region. India is motivated to expand its interaction with Cambodia with an emphasis on strengthening civilizational connections. For instance, the Archaeological Survey of India restored the Angkor Wat Temple in Cambodia and is restoring the temple complex in Taprom, which is expected to be completed in 2026. When, in November 2022, India's Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar visited Cambodia, he inaugurated the Hall of Dancers, a section at Taprom. Temple restoration in Cambodia is not a new role for the ASI, which started in 1986 and continues with the commencement of work in Vihar, one of the oldest temples dedicated to Lord Shiva. The two countries signed a protocol on mine clearance in June 2022. India funded a mine-free village project in Kokong province to help the villagers living there. In addition, providing prosthetic limbs to affected Cambodians has also been extended. A way to push for deeper engagement in this area is being considered by the two sides to establish two health centers under the Jaipur Food Prosthetics Program in the near future. In November 2022, India also signed four MOUs with Cambodia in the field of health and medicine and the reintroduction of tigers in Cambodia, which would include capacity building for a tiger ecosystem, one between the Indian Institute of Technology and the Cambodian Institute of Technology to increase collaboration in education and digital conservation of cultural heritage, and an MOU on the financial agreement on conservation and preservation of paintings in Wat Raja Bo Pagoda in CM Rip. India also engages in other areas of cooperation such as the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation and Mekong Ganga Cooperation. Under the Mekong Ganga Cooperation, India has assisted Cambodia in establishing the Asian Traditional Textile Museum at CM Reap while implementing quick-impact projects that target education, health, sanitation, ecotourism and infrastructure, India has completed 31 projects and 17 are under implementation. India also organized Sanskrit Day celebrations in August 2022 to highlight the linkages between Sanskrit and Khmer language. In terms of infrastructure, water resources and path transmission lines around $100 million have been extended to Cambodia. India also held training courses for the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and has extended a grant of $1.5 million for the procurement of demining equipment, transfer of sniffer dogs and a $50 million line of credit for capacity building. India also conducted its first Army-to-Army staff talks in April 2023. In terms of economics and trade, India would also advance interport connectivity between Kolkata and Paradip port, which would enhance its reach towards Sitwe port and towards Cambodia and other Southeast Asian countries, thereby increasing maritime connectivity between the two. 
whether it is joining the International Solar Alliance or participating in the Big Cat Alliance, India-Cambodia bilateral relationship is moving forward in many sectors. Cambodia is looking towards welcoming Indian investments in its country, especially after the visit of the Indian business delegation to the country in April 2023. India has given its consent to setting up speciality hospitals and expanding road, rail and digital connectivity. Cambodia is keen to utilize Indian expertise to upskill its youth so as to increase its economic opportunities in the fintech industries in the country. The visit of the King of Cambodia to India represents a bright future for both countries as Cambodia looks towards benefiting from Indian economic success and development. 